Hello, today I'll be installing LED lights on my 2011 Dodge Ram and this is how they came in the box, like that. It came in an Amazon box and then there was another box and here are the fog lights the LEDs it's built in inside the housing so the LEDs are not replaceable so there's the LEDs in there this is how the back looks this is the, the heat sink to keep them from overheating so everything's built in and here's the connector it's all plug and play so here's the plug and play right here so basically just disconnect th this plug right here see if I can do it with one hand that disconnects so this will just connect so from your factory where the light bulbs in you just you just disconnect the light bulb and you plug the factory connector here from your truck and that's it it's all that is so it's plug and play and this bracket this is for your chrome bumper but I have a sports model so I I'm not going to be using this bracket and here's my truck right here and I, I got the plastic bumper so mine's a sports model and I already have fog lights mine are smoked but they're kind of useless um, you can't really see nothing when you're like on the road and uh, I do have an LED in it right now but it's still kind of hard to see where um, like you can't even see that they're glowing when you're driving so uh, since I have the sports bumper I have to remove my bumper I won't be able to get it from the back here I'll show you how the back looks okay so I'm underneath the truck and this is my LED right here um, this is uh, I think it's H11 so if you just twist it it pulls out and here's a connector it goes from here and here's the factory connector right here so basically you just plug this into your fog light um, I'm about to show you how it looks so you see these three things here so there's one there's the second one right here and the third one's right here basically you just push them in and the, and the fog light pops up forward since I have the sports model the fog light goes forward and uh, I gotta remove the bumper but for your chrome bumper it goes to it goes to the metal bracket so for the chrome bumpers you can just get it from underneath so it's 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 really easy for the chrome bumpers for for the sport models it's a little bit difficult because you gotta remove the bumper okay so I'm on my driver side or passenger side and uh, you're gonna have a if you don't have LEDs or aftermarket uh, bulbs uh, you you just gonna have a halogen bulb so your this harness will be this one right here will be connected in here it'll be connected to your bulb so if you want you can just disconnect the harness and pull it out or um, just take the bulb out completely so it can easier remove the harness and then you're gonna have this tab right here I remove mine with the clip tool so I can have a longer cord because I'm about to test my fog lights make sure they work before I uh, remove my bumper so I'm about to disconnect this one right here so basically right here sorry for light because I'm holding it in a weird position so you just take it like that and just disconnects so I'll be, I was able to even with one hand boom and like that alright so I disconnect it right here so this part right here is gonna go to your fog light and this is my LED right here okay so I have it connected to my factory plug right now I supported it on a like a like a piece of wood and uh, I removed this film because I don't want it to overheat so I'm about to test it if it works and I just plugged it into the harness so I'm about to see it so without even starting the motor, um, I just flipped the switch. This is how my, th this one looks. And that's how that one looks.
And you can tell it's way brighter than the one I have one right here. You can even see it how it's on the on the wall. You can't even see the you can't even see the left one. So if I cover this one, let me try covering it, see? That's how bright that fog light is. And that's how bright this one is. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks. So yeah, this one works perfect. Okay, so I plugged in the other one in the same connection. And this is how the other one looks. Let me turn my headlights off. This is how the other one looks. So yeah, it works too. So both both of them work. So I can actually install them now. And you can see how it looks. So you can see how bright it is. Way brighter than the one I have now. And this is this one. Yeah, this one's really nice. And I would and you can actually aim them. So I'm gonna aim them the right way so it won't blind the other drivers. So yeah, works, and uh, I'm gonna show you install. Okay, so I'm about to change out the fog lights. So you gotta remove this plastic piece on top, the grill, and the two headlights. And then uh, you gotta unscrew the bumper. I'm not gonna show you how to do this. I'll post a link in the description, cause I already did it. So if you wanna view that, uh, you can. So I'm just gonna fast forward when uh, everything is off. Okay, let me give you a little update. So I got the passenger side in already. And I just got to do the driver's side. And um, this is how everything is. I removed the headlights, the grill, the top piece, and there's the bumper. And this is how it looks without, uh, without everything's on. So I'm about to turn it around and show you how it looks. And this is how it looks. That's the that's the original side, and here's the LED one, the one that's built in. And this is how it looks against the wall. So if I cover it, that's how that one looks. And if I cover this one, that's how that one looks. All right, let me give you a little update. So I put the, um, the fog light in, and you can see as I tried to push it, and those black tabs don't want to um, clip on because this plastic piece right here, it's too thick, so it doesn't want to clip in. Um, I'm going to show you the other side what, what I did. Uh, also, Here's this metal bracket, you don't have to use it. Like for my truck, I don't have to use it. This is for chrome bumpers. So you have to remove this bracket, it's really easy. So here's the, this is the passenger side. You can see those tabs right there, how it clipped on. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's clipped on or else your fog light is not gonna hold. You can see how mine is clipped on? I want, like you, you, if you push it, you, you, you can't, or, yeah, if you push it against it, you can't pop it out. Even this side too. Make sure you check all the three sides. Make sure it's clipped in. Because if it doesn't clip in, then this thing will just move. And so I took a file, and I was able to file this circle right here. I'm about to show you what I did. Also, there's a adjuster screw in the bottom for this. I made it bigger, so next time I'll be able to easy to adjust uh, right here you see this right here um, I made this hole a little bigger it was like a smaller hole so I made it a little bigger so next time when I go adjust them I can just adjust them even with my finger or you can use a flathead screwdriver and adjust it with the flathead screwdriver just it's easier like that and here's the cord right here just connects to your factory harness okay so I unscrewed the screwed this bottom piece from the um, the fog light 
from here, I just unscrewed it. This is that adjuster. So I'm going to use this as a template. Um, you can see I'll put it in a hole. And you see it's not clipping. It's not clipping. It still moves. So I took a file. Here's the file. And just start filing this right here. File all three of them until uh, you'll be able this. So this should clip in. You'll hear a click. So see it's not clipping in yet, so I gotta file more. Okay. So I got all the fog lights in. So before you put the bumper back, make sure you check that all your tabs in the back are good. Uh, you can connect your fog light if you want. And you can see it's solid. It won't pull out. So make sure you check. Make sure um, it's nice and solid. Also, check your other side. Same thing. It doesn't move. Nice and solid. So yeah, uh, make sure you remove this too, because then it'll be hard to remove when you put the bumper on. Um, and here, let me turn on the truck, see how it looks. That's how it looks. Okay, so I decided to adjust my fog lights, and there's the fog lights right there. I pulled in on the garage. So I got as close as possible to the wall, and this is where my fog light beams are at. So technically this is like the mirror, like the, the middle of the, the bulb. So right here is the middle of the bulb. So then I marked it with tape, then I drove about 25 feet back and the beam was like all the way on the floor here somewhere so I took a screwdriver and I was able to adjust the beam all the way up to here so you, so then you have to lower four inches so four inches from here all the way down is right here about four inches down so that's where the beam has to be same thing on the other side I just did a quick um, adjustment it's not perfect but this should be good for now and I'll show you how I adjusted it. And that's the adjuster right here. This is the adjuster. You just spin it with the e with the screwdriver. You can grab a screwdriver and just spin it, and it'll adjust the uh, the height of the of the beam. Also, you can actually go from the side of the truck right here, and and right here you, you don't even have to go underneath the truck. And you can stick your hand underneath, and you can adjust the fog light with your hand right here. So you can look at this look at the wall and adjust it. Same thing for the other side. J just go from the side of your truck and it'll be easy to adjust them. I was actually able to spin them with my hand. Or if you can't just use a screwdriver and you'll be able to see the beam. That's how it looks. See the beam right there? That's how it looks. And this is what I mean with these with these aftermarket headlights. You can see I have one. Um, I got a new one replaced because this one had like spider cracks. And the adjuster is right here, right in the back. There's up and down. And then there's left to right. It's an eight mi millimeter socket. You put it on, but the socks part, since it's in the back, you can't go through the fender liner because there's a holes right there to from your OEM. You can just adjust it from your fender liner, or from your fender. And uh, these, you have to always remove the headlight, adjust, and put it back in inside its housing and you got to keep doing it until you get it perfect that's why it's a little annoying with the aftermarket headlights some aftermarket headlights do have the adjuster thing on top where it's supposed to be at but some they put right here so I kind of don't like the setup but um, I had this headlights actually for a, quite a while and they've actually been pretty good and I got LEDs in here too in my projector and this is how it looks when you're against the wall 
That's the beam pattern. And this is how it looks at night. This is just the fog lights. Just the fog lights are on. This is how it's gonna look. And these are the headlights. So fog lights off. This is just the headlights. And these are the fog lights. And I'll show you how it looks when you drive. And this is how it looks. These are just uh, headlights, low beam. This is fog lights. That's the fog lights. I'm gonna turn off the fog lights right now. So the fog lights are off. Fog lights are on. Fog lights are off, and these are just um, fog lights right here. Just fog lights. And my windshield is tinted. It's 50% tinted. This is how it looks like that. And that's how it looks when it's tinted, because my windshield is tinted. 50%. So again, this is just fog lights. And this is headlights with fog lights, low beam. So fog lights off, fog lights on. And I'm about to go for a test drive, see how it looks. So these are just fog lights. Right now I'm driving with only fog lights on. And I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on. This is just fog lights. And these are my headlights. These are with the headlights. And remember, my windshield is tinted, so it looks a little bit more darker in the in person and on camera. So this is how it looks here. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my headlights and these are just the fog lights. So no lights, this is j j just fog lights. So here you go, here's again. This is just my fog lights. And then when I go outside, this is how it looks, like that. Just fog lights. And this is with my headlights. And that's how it looks. Look at that. And then when you look outside, look at that.